Hello my friends and welcome back to another Rotato Random Random Run. Hope you're doing well. We're going to of course pick a random class and random weapon and try to beat Danger 5 with it. I'm going for the longest win streak possible and we are currently at... Wait for spoilers, if you haven't seen the previous videos, go check those out because I will spoil the results. We're at a win streak of 5. I have, have done 7 of these so far and won 6 out of the... Seven, so we're at an 85-ish percent win rate. That's pretty good, but I think we can do better. I also, before we start, want to take a moment to thank T. Browns for the $5 donation on my last video. Really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, let's get right into it and see what we've got. We get Engineer. Okay, so Engineer is going to have some really interesting ones. I will re-roll Wrench if we get it, because I already did a guide to Engineer with Wrench. But any of these other three I think will be really fun to try, so let's see what we get. Engineer with Hammer. Okay, so this I think is the only character that can start with Hammer. Maybe uh, Knight or King can with the level 2 starting weapons. But we get minus 50% damage and a bonus wrench, so we have half damage, but our damage, melee damage on hammers does scale at 150% of your melee, so that's pretty good. I think this will be very interesting, and I'm very curious to see how this works. I'm going to try to stay with hammers throughout the whole run, though of course we'll pick up other constructs as we go. Let's see what we can do. Hammers also have the blunt and heavy weapon tags, so that's going to increase our damage a little bit. I should stay away from my turret so that it can help us clear. Notice that w the hammer is hitting for 30, which is kind of ridiculous at this stage. I want to go pick up these materials before the end of the wave. Um, I'm not going to take engineering here. Normally I would, but I'm going to reroll, look for harvesting. We didn't get any harvesting. Minus 50% damage means that this is significantly less valuable. Although, again, it scales. Our melee damage scales at 150%, so we're kind of at minus 75% damage, or minus 25% damage, um, compared to characters using a weapon with worse damage scaling. I think I will reroll once more looking for harvesting. Still didn't find it, so I'm going to take attack speed. We're definitely going to need that if we want to make use of these hammers. I believe I cannot roll a hammer because it's level 2 only, so I am going to have to wait until shop 3, I think, to be able to roll more hammers. Um, so we're just going to look for items that will help us out here. I'm going to reroll this whole shop. I could go just a couple support items because that will give me a little bit of cash scaling. I will buy the turret here because we're going to want constructs anyways. It's really interesting not being able to find weapons in wave one or two. I hadn't really thought about sort of what that means for the character yet. So at some point I'm going to want to sell this wrench. But in the meantime, what items do we actually get? I'm going to re-roll this, I think, and just look for things with, like, harvesting and so on. And I'm going to buy the Peaceful Bee. And then I'm tempted here to buy the Rock, because that will give us at least more blunt weapons uh, to try to bias the shop towards hammers when we can roll them. So I think I'm going to lock this Rock, and I will also lock the Sharp Bullet. Sharp Bullet is going to be really good for our constructs, which we definitely still want. And the normal downsides are lower because, you know, losing losing damage matters significantly less for this character. Our constructs are all going to spawn together, so we can use that to our advantage. Although, given that we're going to be sort of more a melee character, it might not be as strong an advantage as, as you might otherwise think. I'll just take the level 2 luck here, because it's level 2. Grab the tree, and I can't afford both of these. We're three short. I could sell the wrench to buy both of them now. Um, and I think I will, because I, I want tools to stop showing up in the shop. So I'm just going to buy both of these. And then I will throw in one reroll to see if we can lock something. I'll lock this rock again similarly to the last one, and I think I do want the mushroom. Just trying to get blunt weapons to show up in the shop here. It also gives me some armor and defense, which is not not bad at all. This is a very weird build. 
I do not know how we're going to do. <laughs> it's possible that we should be sticking with just tools for the first few waves and then transitioning into hammer, but I'm going to do my best to make use of this. Oh, can we actually get this guy? I think if I'd hit it once more, it would have died because hammers do so much base damage. I'm going to recycle this lens. We don't need it. And I'm going to pick up the triceps here, even though it doesn't increase our percentage damage a lot. I think it's really still very good to get that. And then I'll just take two melee damage, try to get that back to positive. I'm going to grab this rock to bias the shop, like I said, and buy this mushroom. I'm going to lock the gambling token and roll. Definitely buying a lumberjack shirt. Roll again. And I guess I can keep buying rocks for now. <laughs> this is also early enough that I want the scar. Do I want scared sausage? We aren't going to have the same number of constructs, and it's also less valuable for the engineer since your constructs all spawn together. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Gambling token will be good because we'll be building armor from our blunt weapon tag anyways. This is definitely not a good build, um, but I think we can make it work. Very interested to see how this plays out. I'm going to need some move speed pretty soon because our blunt weapons are reducing our move speed, and move speed's really important on any build that involves Construct, especially Engineer. Do I want melee damage? So this basically is two melee, this is sort of like buying three melee damage uh, for a normal character. Um, I think our damage is, our base damage is high enough, and early game I think I just want to buy more luck at this point. I'm going to buy the Scar and the Rock, and I'm going to roll. By the turret for sure, and roll again. I know I've, I've lost a lot of shop slots to this gambling token, but I wanted to try to fill out at least some weapons. So, maybe I shouldn't have locked the gambling token. We will have very good defensive stats with blunt weapons, and the heavy weapon tag does increase our damage, but less than it does for other characters, of course. So now we should be able to have hammers start appearing in the shop. I'm hoping we can find more of those. Um, if I end up stuck with just rocks as my weapons, that's going to be painful. But we can still play around these turrets for now. Turrets are, like, we're still getting pretty decent wave clear. Uh, I'm going to recycle the alien worm here. And do I just want melee damage? I guess because it's level 2, I'm just going to take it. And here I'll take health regeneration. The faster we get that going, the better. Let's buy this lost duck. And this rock. And I'll finally buy the gambling token. Gonna roll again. And yeah, we'll just fill out uh, our board with rocks. I'm not gonna lock the hedgehog. But at least once we have six rocks, we or five rocks and a hammer, we'll have our, our blunt weapon tag maxed out. And quite a lot of primitive weapons as well, which does help, because max HP is something we're missing. Lumberjack shirt is less powerful on Engineer than on other... Construct builds, of course, because your turrets aren't scattered all over the map, so you don't break turrets with break trees with your turrets as easily. It is so hard to dodge with this move speed. Come on, yeah, we got it at the end. <laughs> all right, uh, definitely take engineering here when we find it. I wouldn't mind increasing harvesting as well, but I think I need to just keep taking melee damage to make sure that that is working. Max this out, buy this, and roll. Okay, there we go. We got another hammer. I really don't want to lose movement speed here, <laughs> but minus enemy movement speed is still going to be better, so I'll take the snail. Minus 13% movement speed is brutal. It's going to be very painful. 
Um, one thing that is nice is our, our damage is quite high. Can I kill these egg aliens or should I be trying to kill the eggs? It looks like I should be trying to break eggs because we are not killing these guys quickly enough. <laughs> In part because they run away from you and we have such bad movement speed. Uh, obviously, one thing I would really like to see is Pocket Factory. Okay, yeah, we were able to clear those out not too terribly. Um, I'll definitely take some percent damage. We have almost none, and it's going to be really good here. I'll take max HP. I wouldn't mind increasing melee damage some more as well, but max HP is going to be really important. Do I want luck here or regeneration? I think I'm going to want regeneration more. I really need to boost that before things get too dire for us. Let's buy the wheat for sure. Uh, we're not using elemental damage and the harvesting is great. And then I'm going to combine and buy another hammer, meaning that we now have two hammers. Decent amount of HP from this and we're starting to get some damage from the heavy weapon tag. Really need speed before I fight an elite, but other than that, I think we're in okay shape. Our defensive stats aren't terrible, and our offensive stats are bad, but we're an engineering build. <laughs> or we're, we're the engineer, so that's kind of to be expected. 10 regen is not enough at this point in the game, but uh, we're getting there. If I could get to decent movement speed, yeah, taking a lot of hits because it's so hard to dodge. Really need the movement speed. <laughs> Trying to work my way around the arena here, but I also need to pick up, like actually clear some of these enemies and pick up materials. There we go. Only made 180 that wave, which is really bad. Okay, I'm just going to take 3% speed here. We just need to start boosting that any way we can. I'll take this. I'm going to pass on this and actually roll for more move speed. On the other hand, Garden is going to be really good. That gives us a lot of healing. And I'll lock this hammer. Roll again. Is cute monkey something we want? I think not at this point. I think the only thing we care about right now is just getting some move speed. This should be a good wave for us, because we, we don't really need move speed for this wave. Um, just wave clear, and hammers have a really good... Obviously, our damage is good, and hammers also have a really good attack pattern for this wave. The wide arc of the swing is really nice. I'm not sure I've ever actually bought a hammer before in this game. It's so rare to be able to buy it in a, in a situation where it's at all useful. And I will say this is not a situation where it's at all useful. Okay, I need to tank some damage just so I can clear the guys in the center, get back towards our little defensive emplacement. But our armor is good. I need more dodge. I need more health regeneration. And, of course, more movement speed. All right, 6% movement speed. That will help a lot. And then I will take... I'm just going to take 9 max HP here, I think, over the melee damage. Um, I'd really just need to survive. We do get to buy two hammers, so that's nice. We can get to our full hammer setup. And I guess I will recycle this last rock. Or I'll just combine these rocks. I mean, this does swing for 80. 175% melee scaling on the level 3 hammer. Didn't realize, actually, that it increased so much in scaling. It also increases in, uh, in attack speed. 1.75x crit, so it's not the normal 2x crit. Although it's better than the rocks. I'll combine these, and we get to max HP here, at least. Do I want this damage? I don't think so. I'm going to roll. Um, we're taking so many hits that Tardigrade is not where it's at for us. Definitely going to take this lure, but do I 
take that or the recycling machine first. So that's very interesting. You want recycling machine before you take lure because then you can sell the items at a profit. Um, but we won't be able to take lure next round because it's an elite round, at least not easily. I think what I'm going to do is take the recycling machine and lock these two. Because our luck is also okay, so we may end up getting more money from the recycling machine. Mostly because, you know, you, you would rather have the recycling machine first uh, over the lure because lure is going to drop crates, and if we recycle what's in those crates, we want the machine available. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage per attack because our armor is actually not as good as we would like. I think if I lose on this wave, I'm going to try this build again. Um, I'm just going to just going to keep the video going and pick the same things, because this is a really interesting challenge. Whoa, I took so many hits there. <laughs> oh, the chargers are so brutal. I don't know how we're going to beat the uh, the summoners and stuff later on. Um, do I want 9 dodge or 6 HP? I think I'm going to take 9 dodge, because we've got some HP locked. Okay, this medical turret will help a ton. Uh, so I'm going to buy this and this. And then do I buy this and just accept that we might not be able to kill them because it's an elite wave, but it does give me two regener or three regeneration? I think I'm going to and just say, hopefully we we get them, but if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, metal detector reduces our damage. I think I'm going to take the incendiary turret. That will actually be quite decent damage because we have still very good engineering. Um and then we'll lock the metal detector for next round. That can maybe help with the elite. I really hope we get an easy one. This one should be not the end of the world uh, because it, it doesn't itself, like it doesn't charge us or anything like that. So I just need to dodge the slashes reasonably well. Trying to kill the, the loot alien here. Although actually, maybe I should be focusing the elite down because I think we can get it. I wasn't—I didn't think we would have the damage to kill it, but maybe we can get it. Nah, it looks like no. Maybe if I—if I had focused it from the beginning, I might have been able to get it. But uh, oh, ow, ow, ah, crap! <laughs> All right, I just stepped in eight enemies all at the same time, and our 30% dodge was not enough. We actually ended up with only two arm or three armor because I took two gambling tokens. I think my big mistake there was these gambling tokens. So I'm going to try that one again. Just going to reset my win streak, unfortunately. Yeah, I think build, I built dodge too early before it was valuable, and that that reduced my armor. Um, I only ended up with 49 off the first wave, which was pretty bad play there. Do I want this book? We do still use engineering on this character, and book is very cheap, so I think I'm going to buy it here. And then I'm going to reroll. I'm going to buy the beanie here for sure, because we are going to need speed as we build more blunt weapons. And duct tape as well is going to be valuable, so let's lock that. I'll throw in one more reroll here, because I think I want to get more blunt weapons to bias the shop towards hammers. And uh, I guess what I'll do is buy spiky shields. They aren't going to do a lot, because we won't have a lot of armor to begin with, but spiky shields will help. And then we can also sell out of this wrench early. I really wanted to, to give this one another go because 
this was a really fun, like, a really interesting challenge. Okay, we're getting a little luckier on finding harvesting early, so that should help. As well, finding stuff like lemonades will help a lot. I'm going to sell out of this so we stop rolling tools in the shop. And then I will buy the lemonade. I'm going to leave the duct tape locked, roll again, and great, we get some more move speed. I'll roll one more time, and I can lock in these two. So this will get us towards our blunt weapon tag sooner. And I need to buy some weapons before hammers start appearing in the shop, just because you can't just play with one weapon until, like, wave 5. <laughs> I think it was wave 7 before, or 6 or 7 before we saw our first actual hammer last run. And then what I'm going to do in this run is not spend on dodge and just lean into armor, but also we've gotten a bunch of move speed. Scar is an excellent find there, especially since we don't have to spend money on it. And I'm going to also buy less melee damage, I think. I'm going to reroll here, and I will tick, pick up probably just some max HP. No, I'll, I'll grab speed, because we're going to need that. And then here I'm rerolling, looking for harvesting, but given that we we just find max HP, that's great. Here I can afford to buy all three things I have locked, so that's perfect. Yeah, our spiky shields do not do a lot of damage right now. Engineer's uh, damage penalty is to all forms of damage, so percent damage and melee damage and, and elemental damage and stuff are all reduced. So this is... Um, it makes it quite difficult to buy damage stats to make our hammers actually kill things. Uh, and even without the nerf, hammer is not an amazing weapon. Uh, I'm just going to take max HP here, I think. Maybe just luck. I do want to boost my luck, so I'll take that. This is a, a gift, this three armor. That will help us a lot. Buy more lemonade as well, and definitely buying a plant here. Can start getting some regeneration going. Another plant and a, another spiky shield, so now we've got at least a few more blunt weapons. And our spiky shields should be hitting a little harder now too, thanks to armor scaling. One thing that is kind of fun is that spiky shield doesn't care about the damage loss, so we're kind of cheating the engineer's penalties a little bit with those. Since it scales off of armor, it doesn't doesn't care about our melee damage loss. Obviously, I won't be counting the second run as part of the win streak or anything like that. This is definitely a lost run. But, you know, assuming we get there. But I really wanted to try it, and also, of course, I didn't want to post a, like, 15-minute video or whatever that would have been. I'll take this, I think. No, I think I'm going to pass on this. We don't have any constructs yet, and uh, minus, it's so hard to build up our percentage damage. Even though we only lose half as much, I really want to avoid doing that. I'll just take attack speed. Hammers are going to scale really well with attack speed. Very happy to buy another hammer here, and I will still take Lumberjack Shirt. Do I want the Ugly Tooth? We're going to lose 2% more speed, so that would bring us down to negative speed, but this will also help against Elites. We are kind of unlucky in that we've gotten uh, one of the hardest patterns for Elites. The only harder pattern, I think, is uh, 11, 14, 17. But I think I'm just going to buy both of those items and then roll, and we can buy this hammer. I'm not going to upgrade the spiky shields. I feel like that's out of the spirit of the challenge. These were just to bias our shop towards blunt weapons. So what I need before I fight an elite is a little more movement speed would be great. Um, much better healing. Medical turret, uh garden, just more regen, and some more max HP. We're probably just going to work on defensive stats to try to survive through elites, like we saw last time. Maybe last time, because I had bought so much melee damage, we could have cleared the elite, but 
this time I think there's no chance, given that I have not bought any melee damage yet. Didn't just take movement speed here, that's that's very good for us. And then do I just want attack speed, or do I want to start building percent damage? I think I just want 15% attack speed. It's so powerful with the hammer, which just has such high base damage. And we can buy another hammer. So our speed is positive, that's great. I don't really want to buy a blood leech, even though we're trying to buy a regeneration, we don't care about lifesteal at all. I don't want any of these. Roll again, and I will take the landmines. Um... It's not going to be a major component of our damage, but I think it's nice to have, for, and for only 30. It's also another unique item, so we can potentially roll fairy and get extra regen off of it. I'm going to, again, break the eggs here, I think. I just don't think we have the damage. Our... It's interesting, the rock build was actually, I mean, just because we'd been able to buy melee damage, the rock build was doing more damage than uh, the spiky shield build. Because I haven't also haven't scaled up my spiky shields. That said, we actually did clear that one pretty... Yeah, we, we're actually clearing these guys, so I guess I should have been letting the eggs hatch. Because it just takes, like, two hammer swings to knock them out. Took an extra hit there that I didn't need to, but that's okay. Would like to get more harvesting. Oh, this is a very difficult one. Three melee damage, so this is effectively buying like four and a half melee damage. Um, I also do need more max HP. I think here I'm going to buy the max HP. Um, we'll focus on getting damage a little later on. I'll buy the landmines. Do I want more armor at the cost of speed? I think I do. Reroll this, and fertilizer is great. Uh, we lose half a melee damage, but that makes our harvesting actually worthwhile. I'll take some luck here as well. Take the dangerous bunny and roll. Lock the crown. All right, this is, uh, this is a great shop for us. I'm just gonna lock the whole shop. We don't have enough harvesting for crown to be super valuable yet, but Crown is, is really good if you get it in, in the first 10 waves, basically. A wheat, like we found last game, would be one of the better things we could find here. So, we're, we're feeling not great about this run, just from our low damage, but... Um, my armor's a lot better than it was last time, that will help a lot in terms of fighting elites. Like, you can see we're in much less danger of just dying to these chargers than we were last time. I did tank a lot of damage there because I wanted to try to get at least some wave clear done. I feel like I need pickup radius. For some reason, I'm having trouble just picking up all the materials. Uh, here, I'm going to keep taking armor, I think. Just stack that up a lot. Armor doesn't gain value the more you have of it, but it's still nice to have. I could also just take 10% attack speed. What did I lock? I locked a crown, a hammer, um, a broken mouth, and a dangerous bunny. So we're not gaining any damage of any kind. I think I'm going to take the attack speed here, because we're, we're really suffering in terms of wave clear. And I'll buy the crown here. I'm going to buy the Dangerous Bunny as the thing that gives us the most immediate value. And then we can throw in a couple rerolls. Oh, that should have given me two free rerolls. I'm not sure where our other free reroll went. Huh. That seems like a bug. I, I, I definitely only rerolled once. We bought the Dangerous Bunny. Should have made that reroll free. I guess it, it made the reroll free, which was already free, because of the behavior when it buy when you when you buy it, um, it just makes the current reroll free rather than giving you plus one reroll. I, I don't think I've seen that interaction before, but that's kind of annoying. <laughs> so I guess if you already have a dangerous bunny and you buy it in your first shop before rerolling, it's not gonna the new one won't give you any value. Let's see if we can kill this thing. The hammer is just punting it across the map, too, because our, our knockback is so high. 
But we're at the point now, especially because I have a lot of consumable healing, where we can fight in these horde waves much more uh, e efficiently. Really finding the consumable healing, I think, is one of the big differences between this run and last run. Very happy to just keep buying more speed. Yeah, I'll buy a tree for sure. Okay, so here I am gonna take percent dodge, even though we don't uh, we don't have a lot of it. I will want some eventually. I'm gonna take 15 luck here. I think, like I said, consumable healing is a big component of our healing. Do I want this broken or uh, this weird ghost? We do want max HP. I could just randomly die if I buy the weird ghost, so I do have to be aware of that. We only have five regeneration. I think I'm going to go for it, and I'll just have to play very defensively off the start of the next wave. Mouse will lose me harvesting. More enemies is also kind of risky here. And we don't use the lifesteal at all. I don't, I mean, I, I always like more enemies, but I think especially because I'm going weird ghosts this round. I might just go with the pocket factory. No, I think that's just cowardice. I'm going to take the mouse. I'll lock this. I'll get our free reroll. Now, I think it's worth buying the gambling token. Or is it? <laughs> uh, we've got 6% dodge. Yeah, I don't think it's worth buying the gambling token, so I'm not going to lock it. I'm going to roll once more, or maybe I should just buy campfire. No, nah, I don't I don't want to don't want to lose move speed at all. I'm going to roll once more to see if we can find something that gives me health regeneration, which we did, uh, cuz there's a lot of cheap level 1 items that give health regeneration, and that will help a lot with the weird ghost just not instantly marking us. I'm going to pass on the spiky shield here, of course. So we're hoping to generate some consumables before I take a hit. There we go. Found one consumable. That should mean that I don't just get one shot. That was a, a riskier weird ghost than I often go for. I like to play it fairly conservative with those just because I feel like often the only way you can... Like, if, you, if you're... If you have a good build then often the only way you can lose is by doing something dumb and, and dying randomly. Um, Weird Ghost is a good way to make that happen, but we have a bad build, so I think we have to take more risks. I dove into that crowd to because I knew there were some consumables coming. We could heal back up, and I really want to get some actual wave clear. It's okay to take a lot of hits here as long as I am healing. I'm going to take this engineering, I think, because we're buying a pocket factory. I'm very happy to buy some health regeneration here. That will help us a lot to not die. Let me roll. Uh, improved tools is good. I, I guess if I buy the dangerous bunny again, it's going to still be the same deal. Um, so I actually might just not buy it, because a big chunk of the value of dangerous bunny is that it makes the current reroll free. And then, yeah, I'm going to buy both of these constructs here. We'll buy the, the turrets and the landmines. All right, moment of truth. Can we survive this elite? We only have 50 HP and 10 regen. Less dodge this time, but a lot more armor. So that should help. Our attack speed is, is better, but we don't have any melee damage, so we're not going to kill it. We'll have to see what elite it is. All right, this is going to be a difficult one, I think. because it's going to start shooting rings at us, and those are very hard to dodge if you're not actually DPSing it. Because the, the way to dodge the rings that it, it fires at you is to move towards it, but if we're not actually trying to kill it, then moving towards it is quite dangerous. So I'm going to have to try to move with the rings, which makes dodging them much harder. But you can see like the, the appropriate way to to play against this guy is to move towards it as it's firing the rings, cross the inner boundary of the ring, and then then it doesn't hit you. Much easier than trying to run with it or stop in the middle of them, typically. 
took a lot of hits there at the end just to try to get some materials out of that wave, but I feel pretty good about that one. We actually made it out relatively unscathed. I think, do I want to buy melee damage here or just like go pure defensive and buy speed or dodge? I think we can get away with some melee damage here and then some percent damage. These are, are not going to be amazing, but because we're using hammers, it, it even small boosts in that increase our overall damage output a lot plant and landmines, and I do need to still be wave clearing. The best thing we could find here would be a stone skin, because we've got so much armor. Buy the metal plate, and yeah, I'll still buy defective steroids. We need max HP, and one melee damage is the same as uh, like 1.75 melee damage for other characters. Get to buy another hammer here, that's nice. I will lose some move speed to buy more armor, just continue to to pump armor into the sky. If we find a stone skin, that's great. If we don't, it's still fine. We just need to tank up as much as we can. Best items we could find are stone skin or fairy at this point. I'd also take a sad tomato. Um, and of course, like other, other, there's a bunch of other stuff that would be valuable as well. A bunch of tier fours that would be really nice. This wave shouldn't be too bad. Knockback is typically good against the ribcage guys, although you can get in trouble if you knock them too far away too many times and they just get really fast. Oh no, come back. Loot alien. Oh man, it's so hard to kill the loot aliens because we have so much knockback. <laughs> Leaving a lot of stuff on the ground. Very happy to get this wings. Range actually is is something that we kind of want here. And of course, move speed is good. Uh, I'm going to take regen over armor here. Our armor is excellent and I need more healing. And at this point, I'm going to sell out of the spiky shield and buy another hammer. Buy more luck, buy more speed for sure. Uh, weird food will be great. You've seen how reliant we are on, um, on consumable heals buy this missile for some for 5% damage for minus 4% attack speed that will increase my damage output fairly heavily 5% damage is uh, like 3 damage per attack on most of these weapons so that's a reasonable amount I'm not convinced that it's worth buying missile though I think I will buy acid no, I think I'm going to pass on both of these. They're, they're kind of inefficient items in general, and I'd rather get something that really helps out. Uh, shackles, we don't actually... Uh, eight, capping ourselves at 18% speed, I think, is fine, and we want the regen, and actually all of these stats are good for us. So normally shackles is not an item I love, but I think it's going to be good here. And because we've already used two rerolls, this Dangerous Bunny immediately saves us 18 that will help a lot. Uh, I'm not going to buy a rocket launcher. Let's go to wave 13. If I find some move speed um, before buying the shackles, that would be nice. I, you know, I wouldn't mind going to like 25% move speed, but 18% but move speed is enough for most characters, even for a relatively weak build like this. And the 8 regen is going to be really valuable. And of course the 8 engineering actually does help as well because of our pocket factory and double landmines and stuff. Starting to take a lot of damage again from whenever I step on one of these tentacle attacks or anything like that. have to say my dodging this this round has not been amazing. Okay, I thought I could get in and out with while well, only taking one hit, but we took a million. <laughs> Five, four, two, one. All right, very badly played wave by me. Um, I th I'm still gonna take the ritual, I think, even though it costs us a lot of engineering, but that isn't 
most of our damage, and we do need to build some damage. I'm going to take... Yeah, we didn't find any move speed. That's fine. I'll take the shackles. I'll take the turret. I'll roll. Immediately punished by finding some move speed here. Uh, I'm going to take the incendiary turret as well. I could buy the beanie, because it doesn't have a huge penalty, but uh, and that will let us buy negative speed, but I, th I think it's not worth it to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll buy Tyler as well. I'm going to lock that, and then this is a great shop for us. We need all of these things. I'm going to get over here and clear the little goobers out. <laughs> the fact that our hammers don't one-shot the summons is very painful, so I'm going to prioritize taking flat melee damage if possible at this point, since that's the, the best way to scale our damage. Basically, I need more max HP, and I need flat melee damage, and I'd, like, I'd really like to start building dodge at this point, um, especially if we get a little more max HP. It's so hard not to generate all these summons. I'm trying to stay near the edges of the arena where I don't accidentally kill too many of the summoners. But we have to be really careful. Yeah, the fact that these guys are hitting for 11 per attack is really painful. I'll take this. Um, just any melee damage I think is good. I'm going to grab armor over percent damage here. Because, uh, like I said, the amount of damage we were taking was just too much. Can't buy the Tyler yet, but I'll buy those other three things. Silver Bullet, we're just never killing bosses, so I'm going to ignore it. Um, I'll take a Lemonade, though, and I'll roll again, because it's free again. Let me... So, Scar, I could buy it, but I don't think it's good here. Do I want the Bowler Hat? Um, I think I do want the bowler hat, and I think I'm going to pass on the compass, because we already have capped speed, even though engineering is good. Alright, this one shouldn't be too bad, because you can just kind of stay away from it. Yeah, we, we just do not have the damage to kill it. Well, taking a lot of damage. It's really hard to see what's going on in our little pocket of turrets in the middle there. <laughs> so basically, this, this wave I'm just kind of ignoring the elite. Relying on consumable healing and regen to keep me alive. Would be really nice to start building some percent damage here. Or some, some dodge here. Um, I'm going to grab this luck here. And then... Yeah, I can probably just take all of these, I think. Looks like we can't quite afford them all. Do I want the... Th the one and a half melee damage here. I guess, yeah, any melee damage we buy is going to increase our, our DPS so much. Um, gonna roll through all of these. Do I want a spicy sauce? Yeah, we're kind of desperate for maximum HP, so I will spend up 115 on three of it. It's a very inefficient way to buy max HP, but I think in this case it's, good, it's justified. Trying to go around the edges of the arena and push enemies into my pockets of turrets. While also trying to assassinate the buffing aliens. The blunt weapon tag has been really good for us now that I was able to get more move speed.
still don't know if we're going to win this one, but it's starting to look a little better. I'll take the pencil again. Um, and then, yeah, I want to start building dodge. So this is great. We can just take a level three dodge. Take the spicy sauce. I could take snake to go with our incendiary turret, but I think we've got better things to spend our money on here. Um, hey, we get to finally buy our last hammer. Wheelbarrow at this point won't pay for itself even with crown, right? So I'm just going to pass on that. Community support is very nice here. Uh, definitely going to buy that, and I will lock the lemonade. Roll again. Because attack speed is such a, a powerful tool for us right now. So actually, how's the DPS on this guy looking? I think it's looking bad. So what I want to do, given that I'm not going to be able to kill it, is leave it in stage 1 for as long as possible, not do any damage to it, so it, it doesn't summon tentacles. Because with this guy in its stage 2, it starts summoning tentacles, and those both are hard to kill and hard to dodge when they stack up in a lot of numbers. Um, and don't give much money, because they just are hard to kill. So you want to try to avoid having this guy be in his second stage for as long as possible. We were able to keep him in the second stage only a little bit, so very few tentacles stacked up. And it, it's, it's very worth figuring out, especially if you're not going to be able to kill an elite, whether you want to, like what stage you want it to be in for most of the fight. Uh, there, I'm going to pick up the cute monkey, and yeah, I can start building a little more damage, I think. Um, not going to buy Chameleon, even though I want dodge. This is just a really inefficient way to pick up dodge, but I'll keep getting turrets. I'll take another gentle, or take a gentle alien that gets us some HP, but I'm not going to buy the bait. Um, I mentioned wanting pickup range earlier, but I don't think I wanted enough to buy it. <laughs> Poisonous Tonic. I don't think so. I think what we're doing here is just buying the Blindfold. And then I'm going to roll once and see if we can lock anything. Can lock this hammer. Lock this propeller hat as well. Hammers are so expensive. Getting that uh, Blindfold helps a lot, though. Crit chance is actually pretty good, even though these only crit for 1.75, just because the the base damage on them is so high. I need to kill the buffers before too many buffed aliens pile up. You can see even these like buffed chargers are um, are a real threat, especially because they're getting healed by the healers, and we don't we don't one shot them or anything. I'm trying to. Clear the summons. Whenever I kill one of the slugs, I, I have to clear the summons. Otherwise, the projectiles will stack up too much. Uh, ouch. Taking a lot of damage there. Really needed some... Aw, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I really thought we were going to get that one, but my regeneration just wasn't high enough. And our armor... <laughs> Even taking 50% less damage, we were really just getting crushed there. I guess buying Gentle Alien might have been a mistake, because our wave clear was too bad anyways. But that wave was difficult because I took so much damage from the buffed aliens off the start, and I was kind of playing catch up the whole time. I might come back to this challenge again. I think this is one of the hardest possible runs we could have gotten, so I'm not too upset at losing it. And we got pretty close. Um... Very interested to see what takes other folks would have on this one. You know, assuming we use the same rules where you have to actually buy the hammers when you see them and try to stack up six hammers. Um, yeah, I think this this was kind of a fun one. I think maybe I, I overspent on stuff like crown and bowler hat that never really paid for themselves because we didn't end up with a lot of harvesting. Maybe buying all the dangerous bunnies was a mistake. I mean, they, they saved us so, much, so many materials. Like, they definitely paid for themselves. Uh, Crown maybe didn't work out. Because we just didn't end up with that much harvesting by the end of the game. And maybe in the end game, I still just bought too much melee damage and should have focused entirely on regeneration 
and health. Our max HP was very low at the end, uh, you know, even though it was the ideal number for YouTube, it uh, was not the ideal number for winning the game. And while our armor was good, yeah, I think maybe I should have gone for, like, White Flag and not gone for Mouse and Gentle Alien. It's really hard to say because we'd have just had less money that way. Anyways, this is a really interesting build. Uh, as always, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this D Brotato Danger 5 random random run. And if you have, of course, please feel free to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel for more of this and other strategy game content. And we'll see if we can get a win next time. Cheers, my friends. GG.